I'm back at I'm back at it again. OTF member, OTF period. Somebody go save 600 reads off Flag TV. Flag at 600 breezy about the tweet retweet that Wooski post on King Von's birthday. He said that he posted a tweet where King Von said that you going Wooski gonna be dead before he died. And Wooski reposted that to just say, King Von, you dead before me. Now what? This the conversation with 600 Breezy and Fag is having on his platform. 600 Breezy have the nerve to say that Wooski, you already have dead. Wooski might not be 100% himself or who he was, but he ain't slow to where he can't read. He can retweet. He still here knowing what he's doing. It probably have slowed him down, humbled him. Anywho, 600 Breezy continue and goes to say, Vaughn was that person everybody is portraying him to be. Now, correct me as I'm wrong. Let me know. Come in and let me know. 600 Breezy said, Vaughn was that person everybody portrayed, portrayed in him to be. Now, when you say portraying a person to be something, that means you're saying that I'm something that I'm not. You're, you're telling me I'm a killer, but I'm not a killer. Okay, I'm just trying to get the understanding like to make this make sense. What should he have said? Well, you know, rest in peace, King Von. King Von was that nigga. He was doing better saying that. But you double talking. You double talking just like you said King Von saved you, saved you from YB because YB was about to have his little youngster come shoot up your house. But then you back door and say you reworded it wrong and it, the little homie dude be doing some crazy stuff behind the scenes. You double talking again. Cause you trying to be positive and you trying to still you had that street mentality. That's why you got one foot in, one foot out, and that's why your words can't come out clear, man. Stop trying to please us. Cause you know you on this interview. Please yourself. Because you're not making sense at this point, my nigga. King Von was that nigga that everybody portray him to be. Which one is it, bro? You need to get off that that interview with Flag. Cause it gonna cause you to talk too much. Cause you don't know how to put your word in wrong wordplay. It's like just like you say they running up on Charles the White. Leave that old man alone. God gonna get him off the things he don't. God ain't gonna touch Charleston White. God using Charleston White to do the right thing. Y'all don't like, y'all don't like the fact the things that Charleston White say. But if you sit back and look at reality, we doing exactly what Charleston White say we doing. Everybody already know you can't bring no niggas together talking positive. You won't reach no nigga brain if you talking positive. You got to talk with niggas like niggas. If everybody on there, if everybody on YouTube laughing at Quando Rondo because he lost a partner, which that's what all of the youngsters doing. So why y'all want to tackle somebody like Charleston White? All he doing is portraying himself as one of y'all to show y'all this is what y'all doing. So what's wrong with he doing? Y'all okay with it? When you putting it in y'all raps, in y'all music, in y'all song, and got the little children out here doing it. So what's wrong with he him doing it? He ain't saying nothing no different than what y'all are saying. Us as a people. 
us as a people, so why everybody after Charleston White when we see this is the trend, this is what people doing? It ain't like Charleston White started this. Ah, King Von dead. Oh, your man's dead. Ah, Quando Rondo, your man dead. Charleston White didn't start it that. He copying y'all. And that's all he's saying. But now everybody want to kill him. Y'all missing the bigger picture what he's saying. Stop the violence and stop killing your own people. Y'all missing the message where he's saying go help somebody in your community that need help. It's time to, it's time to scrape these children to something positive. Get in your kid's life. Be a father. Y'all looking at him dissing the dad. Y'all doing it anyway. Six hundred breezes want to say, "Walk and why y'all walking up to this man? As long as y'all keep uh, giving him attention, they gonna keep on uh, helping him keep going." Well, why did King Von walk up to Quando Rondo? King Von asked for that. Quando Rondo and his crew went out looking for King Von. King Von came to them. That's a different story. If Quando Rondo and his team went and spent on King Von and killed him. When y'all already in the streets, and if a nigga we already heard of is a murderer, a killer, and about that life, walk up on me, what y'all think me and my crew gonna do? And I'm not saying y'all shouldn't go retaliate back at Quando Rondo, which you shouldn't, but Look at why it happened and how it happened. Y'all would have done the same. King Von went knocking at Quando though. That's a different story than y'all out spinning the block because y'all beefing over words. If Lil Dirk walk up towards YB thinking he going to fight YB when Lil Dirk portray himself as, I'm going to get you knocked out, what you think they going to do to Lil Dirk? Now, if Lil Dirk minding his own business and why beat him spin on, that's a different story, but you knocking at my door. But this 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 live didn't even supposed to go that far. I'm really just tripped out at 600 Breeze on this podcast with Flag TV and sounding stupid. You want to be street, but you want to be positive because Charleston White words are touching a lot of you guys. And the reason why you guys can't really accept it because the so-called gangsters and big OGs around y'all not liking this man. So you don't want to feel like they looking at you like a pussy or you weak or you're a, you a coward for liking this man. All y'all doing is monkey see monkey do. Be yourself, be yourself. At this point, it ain't making no sense. Y'all got to think outside the box. And I may say get the scrap. Get the scrap is nothing towards, nothing negative. Because I'm not a negative per person. Get the scrap meaning that staying prote protected, staying safe, being prepared. Because there's some bigger things going on out here in this world. Bigger and important. Not to go rob and kill uh, 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 people because of words we get I'm talking about get the scrap for the real deal Holyfield the bigger people and that's all I got to say it's time that we start thinking outside the box and get the scrap